and welcome to the physics department. I'm obviously highly biased, but I think this is a great course for you to study at A-level. It covers subjects from looking at forces, materials and why they behave in the way that they do, electric circuits, how we can use them, waves, quantum physics, wave particle duality. Um, and then in our second year, we'll look at electromagnetism, generating electricity, astrophysics, circular motion, and we finish off with a really great topic on medical physics, which pulls everything together. One of the first topics you'll study in A-level physics is mechanics. In this topic, we take what you've learned at GCSE regarding Newton's laws, forces and motion, and develop these ideas to solve more complex problems, such as the motion of projectiles. So, for example, you would be able to determine the horizontal range of a bullet fired at some angle into the air. Or, I missed again, what speed you'd need to throw a ball of paper for it to go into a bin a certain distance away? Which is a similar sort of problem. At A-level we follow the OCR specification. This is a mathematical course with around 60% of the content examined using math skills. The entry requirements for this course are a 7 in physics and a 7 in maths at GCSE. Throughout the course you'll be asked to complete a range of practical activities using lots of different techniques and equipment. You'll be developing your skills as a practical scientist ready for university or careers. We thought we'd let our students speak for us, so here's what a few of them had to say. I think you should choose physics if you enjoy it at, at GCSE. It's very much a continuation, but also much a deeper dive. So. If there's something specific you're interested in, choose physics. But equally, if you like the breadth at GCSE, then you'll really enjoy the A-level. I really, I really like my teachers at Bishops. I think they're very approachable and friendly and they will always help you uh, when I'm stuck with something. Um, I really enjoy the class discussions because it helps you really understand the content that you're learning. Physics is such a flexible A-level. Whether I decide to do, for example, medicine or go and do mechanics or maths or physics at university, it will still be relevant and still be useful to that course. What I've loved most about this, um, this two-year physics course was the material science module in year 12. I really loved um, seeing physics in perspective, something that I can understand, which is why I'm going forward to study material science at university. You can see the real world applications um, from your lessons. I chose it because I really enjoyed it at GCSE. I thought it was a really interesting subject. When I started studying physics A-level at Bishops, I was quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, about the number of PAGs. I really like um, the more practical approach to physics in A-level and also the class discussions, which are a great way of making sure everyone's uh, keeping up and really understanding the ins and outs of the subject. For A-level physics, I've had a lot of opportunity to push my learning and really expand the boundaries of my knowledge. I've taken part in many activities, such as um, an engineering day at Fleet Air Arm Museum, where we were supposed to um, make a landing module for an aircraft and failed. Also, we've been able to use um, exams such as the UK Physics Olympiad and the Physics Challenge to really, um, to really push yourself and add something good for your CV. Bishops, I, I love the vibrance of the teachers and how energetic they are about their jobs, as well as all the practical activities, uh, very, very enjoyable. Uh, A-level physics, it keeps my options open for university.